The most important component in a healthy serpentine belt drive is the automatic tensioner. The tensioner and belt are designed by original equipment manufacturers as a system. They have the same design life, so they must be replaced together to maximize system life. When the ABDS is working properly, all accessories are running as they should. The alternator, for example, will be spinning at the design speed, creating electricity to power the vehicle and recharge the battery. As the belt slips, all of the accessories operate at diminished output. The amount of electricity produced by the alternator, for instance, will fluctuate with belt slip. This may lead the motorist to conclude that they have a bad battery or alternator, when the problem is actually a worn belt or tensioner. The check engine light may even come on with an unrelated trouble code. The accessories are inefficient and their life will be shortened by the additional stress placed on them. Not replacing the belt and tensioner together will lead to problems. This chart, for example, shows that a slipping belt is one of the top three reasons for customer comebacks after replacing the alternator. The slipping belt is caused by a failure to replace the automatic tensioner. Belt slip damages the belt decreases accessory efficiency, generates false trouble codes, and creates noise. It can also generate enough heat to damage the grease in accessory pulley bearings. The tensioner ensures sufficient tension to power the accessories. As the tensioner wears, the belt can slip at the accessories, causing noise and excessive heat at the accessory pulleys. The alternator is especially vulnerable to heat damage, since the pulley is much smaller, turns faster, and has a higher bearing load. All original equipment tensioners, and most aftermarket tensioners, like this one, have an internal damping system that controls vibration and power fluctuations. This damper looks and acts much like a drum-type brake. It rides against the inside of the tensioner housing and limits the amount of tensioner arm movement. The damping mechanism is critical to controlling vibration and power fluctuations. As the damper wears, it can no longer effectively limit tensioner arm movement. The belt then slaps against the next accessory, quite literally hammering it to death. Eventually, the accessory will fail prematurely.